as a mediator with uh, pro se parties especially, I find it helpful to have this poster up in my conference room to remind them of the behaviors that will help move their mediation forward and get them to resolution more quickly and the behaviors that won't. So we do ask open-ended questions and statements. We invite the listener to describe her concerns. We use short, non-judgmental, not advice statements. Um, and in fact, these are good rules for the mediator as well, but certainly for the parties to use with each other. Um, tell me more. How did that feel? When was the last time? Explain that. What will happen if you do that? How did you feel when that happened? What do you mean by that? What could I do differently to help with this? What are your concerns? What do you see as not going well? So you're expressing your true interests. You're focusing on shared goals. You're focusing on compromise. Um, and you're doing it by being honest and transparent. And certainly, I always tell my clients this, my pro se parties, ask for a break if you're, you're getting too angry or stressed. Um, there are certain don'ts that you want to really lay out in front so that these are just reminders for people so that they know what not to do because the don'ts will block exploration of the listener's concerns and if they feel that you're not listening to them, they're, they're going to get up and leave. So you don't give them advice, certainly as the mediator. You don't give them advice because you're just making them feel inadequate. You don't lecture because then you're making them feel defensive and resentful. You gotta be careful about reassuring and storytelling because by doing, telling your own stories, you're discounting their feelings sometimes. Sometimes you're connecting, so you have to be careful. I'm not saying don't ever tell stories, certainly, but focus on their stories, not on your own. Um, you don't command or interrogate. You ask uh, open-ended questions. Um, you don't lecture about what is best and assume that you have all the answers, especially as mediator. Um, the clients are the ones who are going to have the answers. It may be one or the other, or it may be a combination of both, but um, together they will come up with the answers. You can only come up with suggestions. Um, obviously, the parties should not be sarcastic or discourteous to each other. They shouldn't preach. They also shouldn't be passive and conflict averse. You've got to put your interests out there on the table, um, not your positions necessarily, but your true interests so that everyone can see them and talk about them and get you to where you want to go in that mediation. And you use you phrases instead of I phrases because you just makes people defensive. You did this, you did that, whereas I feel this way um, is a different thing because um, it doesn't make people feel bad. And that's the collaborative listening poster. Use it in your mediations, whether you're the client or the mediator.